current research. And the topic about smoking in the healthcare setting, from policy to practice. Please. And doctor is try to... Uh, Yes, I'll on, on 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 try to be very yeah. short because it's the final presentation. And also the topic is smoking and as far as I see, it's quite less important compared to others in this situation. Um, so um, I'm very honored to be here on behalf of VCAP's team uh, from UNCAP Institute of Medical Research to, sorry, to, to discuss about the um, smoking on policy setting, um, in healthcare setting. Um, this is only one small part in one big VCAP uh, project that we are doing on COPD, asthma, and smoking is one small part in this project. And uh, the, this part, uh, this presentation come from the baseline study that we have done uh, to prepare for the next phase of the randomized control trial that we plan to uh, implement next year. Mm -hmm. So the reason of this study is only to inform the intervention in the future. So I'm going to go quickly through the background. Uh, as you see, Vietnam has a very high rate of smoking, although that we have done quite a lot of intervention. But I think that the good news, we have tried to reduce the number quite a lot. Um, because uh, the, and the result of uh, the re reduction in smoking rate is because we have done a lot of policy. Uh, from 2012 to 2013, we have conducted quite a lot, issued quite a lot of legal documents, including the law on prevention and control on tobacco harm. And uh, the reason why I focus on this presentation related to directive number five of the Ministry of Health to talk about we have to create a smoke-free policy in hospitals. And this presentation, I want to focus on the current situation of smoking in healthcare setting to identify the gaps between policy and practice, as well as opportunities and challenge to bring policy into reality. Uh, we have conducted quite a lot of studies, and in this presentation, I focus two main study, two study using quantitative methods. Um, first one is the cross-sectional survey on health workers with more than uh, nearly 3,000 healthcare workers among 53 facilities. Uh, and this survey is still going on. And the study to be is focusing on the interview with healthcare managers regarding tobacco control policies and COPD asthma management. Uh, we also have uh, a few qualitative studies to have further information on how smoking is going on in healthcare setting, including the qualitative interviews with patients and the healthcare workers within the health facilities. And I'll go quickly through the result to see that, um, in fact, the policy has come into effect in many health facilities. 85% of health facilities have their own policy, their rules on smoking. However, the task force is not enough, and most of them do not have any budget to implement more, in, more activities in that area. Also, when we talk about the priority, as you can see in this workshop, um, in this conference, uh, smoking is not prioritized. Uh, so, uh, I, I have come back from a um, a session on smoking, and I can see that the number of people who participate is much less than others. So, also, the, our results show that um, more than half of them uh, uh, do not consider uh, um, smoking is a very high pri priority. Well, when we talk about the activities that health facilities have conduct to support the uh, smoke-free hospital policy, we can see that why selling cigarettes is still happening, although it's um, in only to in 7.5 percent of um, facilities, um, other activities to support smoking cessation is not much, like hotline, um, recording the smoking, or have fine, or reminding guests about smoking is not popular. Um, also, when we talk about smoke-free hospital, where uh, Talking about policy, it means that smoking is not allowed in health facilities, but in fact, 
uh, when we talk with the leaders of health facilities, some of them said that they still allow smoking in some areas in the hospital. We focus more to talk on um, healthcare workers, uh, to talk, uh, to have interview with healthcare workers, and we see that 8% of them admit that they are smoke, they are smokers, um, and nearly half of them smoke daily. The very good news, because they are workers, healthcare workers, 75% of them said that they try to quit smoking, although that they might not be successful. And in this slide, you can see that not only the patient, but also the doctors <coughs> smoke within the hospital. Um, when, we talk, uh, when we have the questionnaire with all the health facilities, uh, the health, healthcare workers within the facilities, they also do not assess the high, uh, quality of the air while in nap related to level of smoke. So more than half of them said that is only average. Uh, we want to focus further on smoking-free policy at the facilities and uh, understand more on um, why and how smoking is still exists in health facilities. And we find quite some interesting information. For example, smoking ban is list uh, in hospital policy, but it's not everyone knows about the details of that policy. Some healthcare worker thinks it's not an important uh, policy, and some people just do not follow the rule, and it's not important. No one got punishment. And more interesting, some people said that they can smoke in the canteen without blouse. Healthcare worker can smoke, but just do not let the patient see them smoke or the canteens do not sell cigarettes for patients, but sell it for the healthcare workers. Um, we also see that there are some barriers to smoking-free environment besides the habits of people. Also, we are lacking smoking cessation service. We lack of staff training smoking cessation intervention. We have no documentation about the effectiveness of smoking cessation intervention. And we lack of leadership engagement. Uh, furthermore, but in a very positive side, we want to focus on opportunities. The reason why we conduct the phase two study, the VCAPS phase two, is the opportunities, what we can do. And we see that, besides that, we see that there are a lot of commitment of many uh, leaders of hospitals. Most healthcare workers, smoker wants to quit, so we have chance to provide service. Uh, the awareness of smoking is harmful and bad behavior is quite popular. And healthcare workers, somehow, they feel ashamed about the smoking behavior. That's why we see that they might ha have some gaps between the policy and the implementation related to smoking in health facilities. But we believe that with phase two of uh, VCAPS 2 that we are planning to do, we will have some intervention can support to reduce the gaps. Thank you. Thank you for your very clear presentation and very, this study is very interesting. And I have only one short question. If you have the only one choice to reduce smoking in Vietnam, what is uh, your 